Don't shoot him. He has no weapon. He has no weapon. Don't shoot him. Mobile phone footage showing the lead up to the fatal police shooting of Keith Lamont Scott in Charlotte has been released by his wife. His wife can be heard screaming at police not to shoot her husband. Moments later, there are gunshots. Keith, don't you do it! And Keith Lamont Scott is seen on the ground. An object was thrown. It's not clear if it's a gun, as the police claim. The shooting has sparked angry protests. I know he better live. No justice, no peace. The protesters chant in unison as they took to the streets for a third night. The response to a declared state of emergency and police imposed curfew. More defiance and more anger. As a police helicopter circled overhead, we met a young man on his way to join the protest. It is sending a message to the government. No oh, wow. justice, no justice, no peace. Y'all can't just keep killing and, and keep doing corrupt and don't nobody stand up. The police were out in force too, and as a group of protesters moved to block Highway 77, they were met by a phalanx of riot police. As they symbolically kneeled down on the highway, the police moved in, dispersing protesters with pepper spray. Charlotte has not seen violence and confrontation like this in decades. Later, with protesters already nervous over possible police violence, a civilian suddenly appeared in the crowd, menacingly brandishing a gun on his hip. After he attempted to intimidate protesters, he was chased away. It's a frighteningly familiar reality in today's fractured America. On a street corner, I sat down to talk with a group of young activists. Josh had been arrested just hours earlier. I had my hands up. I had my back turned and I said to police, you like seeing our backs, don't you? So you can shoot me in the back. And um, five or six officers came and grabbed me. You're not being detained, you're being arrested. Why am I being arrested? Crickets, slammed my head back into the ground. You have to tell yeah. me why I'm being, yeah, right here. You have to tell me why I'm being arrested. Why you're taking my freedom from me. And they said? They said you're under arrest for incite, and I quote, inciting a mother Rebecca is a part-time Uber driver. Like so many here, she fears the police on a daily basis. I, I'm afraid that I can be driving Uber and I'm pulled over and I could say the wrong thing, I could maybe move the wrong way and then all of a sudden my life is in danger. My brother, he's 6'6", six, six, he's six, 17 years old and he's 250 pounds. He, if he's driving in his car and they feel at any reason that he reaches the wrong way or does the wrong thing at any time, he's a 17-year-old kid, who knows? They're going to be screaming, waving guns in his face, and he's not going to know what to do, and his life could end at that moment. These activists joined the protests over police killings in Baltimore, and they're determined that Charlotte will be different. they completely different. Why? Well, for starters, um, a lot of those movements, as far as actually people physically getting out of their homes, and putting their bodies and their lives at risk. Um, that happened for one night, maybe two. Um, but here, this is already going into the third. Tonight, protests are due to continue and carry on through the weekend, with curfews being ignored. The release today of the shocking video of Keith Lamont Scott's shooting and tragic final moments seem likely to fuel the angry protests, engulfing yet another American city.